Hi, I'm Raoul Pal, co-founder and CEO of Real Vision. You probably know that by now. I just wanted to talk to you all a bit about some of the changes going on in Real Vision so you understand where we're going. As you know, Real Vision is really an inclusive business and we really care about letting you know where we're going as a business, how we're thinking about things, so you can enjoy the revolution that we're creating in financial media and come with us on this great journey. Our first objective when we started this was to democratize financial information. And that started by bringing you the greatest guests in the world, the people who'd never appeared before. And I think we really hit a high point recently when we got Stan Druckermiller on. He'd never done an hour and a half interview before. And that was really the, something that was really dear to us to get people like Stan Druckermiller to you. And that's part of our core mission, this democratization. Now that means a lot of things, but really to us, it means bringing everybody into the financial world. We don't just want to be the hardcore specialist content producer that we're also known and loved for, but we want to bring other people into the broader world of finance. It's really important for us, if we believe and care in the financial industry and the financial markets, that we bring as many people in to them as possible. I think the media has basically done a terrible job in doing that, and I think it's not right that it's been done that way. It's people's finances we're talking, it's their life savings, it's their 401ks. These things are really important and we should really treat them with importance. So the next phase of our business is starting to unfold and I think you should be aware of what's going on so you truly understand and can support us in this journey. You'll have probably seen that the platform has changed recently. We've now moved towards a series-based approach so it looks a bit more like HBO or Netflix. Now that's done purposely and the reason we've done this is for you to choose exactly what content you want to watch, what's important for you personally. The real vision of old was a bit more like TED Talks, which was like a fire hose of stuff and you liked or disliked stuff. But that doesn't work when you broaden out content as we keep building on what we've done so far. Different people have different needs. Some like the really kind of wonky, deep finance pieces. Other people need more engaging, interesting, content that makes it a slightly lighter journey into finance. Now those two are very different people often. I'm actually one of the bizarre people. I love shows like The Knock-On Effect because I think it brings a engaging, interesting view that makes me think, but I also like the deep dive interviews. There's certain other types of programming that I use less of. So I got my platform set up that I look at the shows that I want to watch and I encourage you to do so. Don't think of consuming everything. There's just gonna be too much content. What I really care about is that you get exactly what you want and that you see it. So you see in those, in the new shows, it tells you, just like Netflix, that there's a new episode of the show that you like, the ones that's relevant for you. So why are we doing this really? Is because we need to bring a whole load more content. We have a whole business built around what's known as a content funnel. It starts with the very most specialist stuff. That's the hour and a half deep dive with Stan Druckermiller. It moves into the expert views and the more thematic pieces. Then it gets into the more educational pieces, which is like the trade ideas. Now, that still requires a deep level of financial knowledge. So the next level of the funnel is the broader one, and that's for people who have less knowledge. This is getting young people involved, getting them to understand, and then bringing them down the funnel, getting them engaged in finance, and then getting them to really understand more and want to know more, so they too can become experts. You see, we can't be an exclusive club. For us as a business, it doesn't make sense, and for our broader mission, it doesn't make sense either. We have to allow broader content onto the platform. And I know some of you have seen some of the things we've been trying with the knock-on effects and other things, and some of you love them, some of you don't, and that's absolutely fine. That's the world we should be in. You see, what we can't be is elitist. And there's a lovely story about this. Well, I don't know if it's a lovely story, because I'm still scarred by it, but there's a story about this is how I think about it. If you think of things in an exclusive way that we're only allowing people into our club who can be professionals, who know what they're doing, then we create a club that I personally don't want to be a member of. I like a world where we actively encourage new people to come into it, actively reach out to help them in their journey of understanding and learning, whether that's the comment section or whether it's the content itself. And many years ago, I stupidly decided I'd try and play golf and I hacked and sliced my way around various golf courses for a number of years, basically throwing my clubs down, storming off and that kind of stuff. I just was not very good at it. 
But golf in the end came down to one thing. I was on a golf course in Spain and there I was teeing off, having been hooking and slicing my way around. And behind me was a couple, um, an elderly couple, and they were good golfers. And as I hooked it again, I could hear them behind me tutting, saying, they shouldn't be on the golf course. And I said, you know, fuck you. I've got to learn, you had to learn. You can't stop me learning and don't allow me on the golf course. That's not a sport I wanna be involved in. So that was the end of my golf. And I think of the same with Real Vision. We just can't do that to people. We have to allow people on. So here's the key. We're gonna be bringing on a whole load of content for a broader audience. And we're not gonna reduce anything of the specialist content. In fact, we're gonna add more to it. So just think of our world as doubling and tripling, quadrupling. If you remember Netflix in its early days, there was pretty much nothing to watch. Then they added more content and more content and more content until you had an embarrassment of riches and everybody can find something they want. So my Netflix experience will, I'll never watch horror movies because I can't stand them and I'm not really keen on Disney movies. Um, however, I watch a lot of documentaries. Now, if I look at my girlfriend's feed, she'll be looking at different things to me. And that's how the world works now. That's the new world of video. It allows everybody to have a bespoke experience. The other thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be offering a part of Real Vision, a slice, the edge of Real Vision, to um, a much broader audience for free. It's called The Edge, and you'll see it, we're launching within, for example, Interactive Brokers, where it goes to 600,000 of their customers. And it's examples of real vision content, real time, but just 20% of it. And it's slightly skewed towards this broader content band because we need to engage these broader audiences and bring people into the financial world. So that whole free strategy, you'll see content coming onto real vision, which is aimed at this different audience. You'll get it all. So you get everything. I mean, that's the great thing. For $180 a year, you get a ridiculous amount of content and it's going to double or triple in size over time. And I'll, I'll probably speak more about this in the new year. But really, you're going to get more of what you want. Other people are going to get what they want. Different people are going to have different experiences. And you'll find overall, you'll have a much richer, deeper experience. You'll see a lot more of Real Vision too because it's launching on Comcast, Apple TV, Roku, Amazon, Zumo, and all sorts of other platforms. And part of that will be free content, and part of it will be the subscription model. So there'll be a lot more of Real Vision out there. You'll be able to watch it on different devices too, because we care about how you consume our content. We want to make it easy for you. You've already got transcripts. You've already got audio downloads. We've given subtitles now as well, um, and you can watch later. We've got the suite of apps as well. So there's a whole bunch of stuff coming, and it's all there to help us to fulfill our mission to democratize financial information. And we'd love the fact that you're so passionate about this journey you're on with us, and we really, really appreciate you. And we'd really appreciate your understanding as we help reach out to others and bring them into this very important field and very important part of the world's media. Thank you.